can hear you. <laughs> All right. Sorry about that. Okay. Like I said, we're going to pause right there, and then we're going to go ahead and continue for tomorrow. Okay. All right, guys. Have a good night. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Hey, Oscar Elias, how are you? Hey, how are you? Good, good. Love, I'm good. Thank you. Great. Okay. So how was the weekend? What happened this weekend? Um, well, not, not that much. Let me see. So I was here, home, staying home. And you? Uh, pretty much the same. Just uh, where did I go? I don't think I went out this weekend, actually. You're right. I think I just stayed home. Um, yeah. You know, at the most, the only thing that I really go out to anymore or... or uh, now the normal is uh, maybe the market, like the supermarket or Dollar City or just to get things like this, but that's it, nothing big. The basics, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I live close to the market because I live in Santa Tecla. Oh, so, really? Yeah, so whenever I can go out almost every day or every three days to get the fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, I try not to buy a lot just so that, it, you know, they don't get ruined. But I go to the, We go to the central market. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I would like to go, but I, I think it's too far away from me. But what about the one in Santa Tecla? Yeah, I go to that one. I go to it's the big one. It's pretty big. Yeah, I, I think it's like the central market. I, I don't know the prices, but I imagine a little bit more expensive because obviously the central market is, you know, they don't have to do a lot of transportation and it's close. But, yes. but I think it's okay. Yeah, it's, it's cheaper than the supermarket, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And today, I think everybody's looking for, you know, to try to get things cheaper, so. Yeah, mm -hmm. you should try. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that especially, like, for me, the fruits and the vegetables are so cheap in the market compared to the supermarket. Like, you know, just basic fruits and vegetables, uh, you know, broccoli and pears, apples, bananas. Is, there's a big price difference. Yeah, and they don't tell you what by pounds in the supermarket. They tell you by pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And only in the market, they always give you a few extra, right? Like if you buy some grapes or something, I, I give you an extra one. Come back, <laughs> come back again. Come back again. Yeah, that's right. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, it's, and and it's nice. <laughs> it is nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Sandra, Kyron, how's everything? Super so good, teacher. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good weekend. Yes, it was. I had another exam again, but and yeah, it was great. I was stressed because of nothing. <laughs> Things <it> was easy. <laughs> hey, there you go. Yes. Sometimes that happens, right? You worry. Yeah. You worry about something, but in reality, nah. You're pretty, yes. you're pretty smart. You're pretty smart. I try to. <laughs> That's how it is. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. What about you? How was your weekend? Mm, pretty good. Um, you know, just I was telling Oscar, just at home, pretty much relaxing. Um, I like to cook, so I usually cook on the weekends. I made some um, enchiladas. Oh, that the, sounds delicious. <laughs> the Mexican enchiladas and... Um, you know, just, just the normal things, uh, just sticking around the house. So hopefully everybody had a good weekend. What we're going to do is I'm going to take a picture before we get started and put it into the WhatsApp. That way uh, everybody's clear. Today we're going to be looking at how to connect ideas, okay? So it's kind of like what we're doing right now, only that uh, we want to do it a little bit more formally. So what happens is when we're talking about connecting ideas is we're talking about kind of like this, like what did you do this weekend or what happened or, you know, different situations. That's one. But when you want to add more information, when you want to include more things, we use several different types of vocabulary words. Okay. Some of those words are, for example, additionally, for example, 
Furthermore, in fact, nevertheless, uh, similarly, as a result, for instance, indeed, likewise, on the other hand, and therefore. Now, each of these has a different function. Some of them give more, okay, or include more information. It's like saying and, okay. Others are like saying but, okay, and others are like say, giving you a different point of view. Okay, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna watch a small video uh, about it and listen to the pronunciation and then I'll give you a little bit more uh, explanation on it. Nevertheless, you have studied a lot. It is important to keep on learning. So get ready to connect ideas. Connecting ideas formally. Additionally, as a result, for example, for instance, furthermore, indeed, in fact, likewise, nevertheless, on the other hand, similarly, therefore. Look at the following expressions. Can you connect ideas using them? Type them on a discussion box. Okay, so then we're talking about different expressions, okay? They're expressing opinions, disagreeing, let me go back to that so we can see. Okay, so kind of the words that I mentioned or the words that are in the WhatsApp group, those are the different functions of those words, okay? Some of those words we use uh, to express opinions, okay? Other words we use when you don't agree with someone, that's disagreeing. Uh, others you use for giving reasons others you use for showing contrast, okay? And there's others that you use for giving more information or supporting your ideas. So as an example, the first word in, that we have from the beginning, which is additionally, is when you want to add more information, okay? So uh, as an example, uh, I'm going to celebrate Christmas at my, I don't know, my mother-in-law. Additionally, the other members of the family are going to are going to go there also. Okay, and um, I love to cook. I love to cook for people. For example, when it's up when I have a party, um, I enjoy to prepare the food. That's when we use these types of words. Okay, so what we're gonna do with your partners is we're gonna make small groups, and you want to discuss the meaning of those words. Make sure that you understand them when to use them. And then after you discuss the meaning and make sure that everybody understands in the group, then you're going to use each word in one sentence. So one more time, we're gonna discuss the meaning of the words, make sure that it's clear what all of those words are, how we use them, okay? And then we want to give one example using each one in a sentence. It's okay? Yes, okay. Yes, it's clear. Okay, great. Hi Ernesto. Hi Elias. Are you there? Hey, thank you for asking. Hey. How are you? How are you doing? Fine. Very really fine. <laughs> Excellent. Maybe because my internet, but I hear you a little bit broken. Oh, or maybe mine. I have some, I have some of them labeled, like some of them help you to make contrast. Some of them help you to add more information. And some of them let you know that some some of these connectors mm -hmm. are like mm, 
A consequence. A consequence, I mean. Okay, perfect. For example. But what about uh, in the, what, the, what does mean? Indeed, in fact. Indeed, yeah. Oh. Means in fact, yes. Okay. okay, thank you. So I didn't know that meaning. Oh, about okay. never. The, in the, Spanish, it's de hecho. Okay, thank you. I didn't know that, that one. You begin. <laughs> uh, I, uh, you know. Teacher, one question. Yeah, Oscar. In this, all these words can be, uh, when you connect these ideas, you need to use more than two words or just one of them. Um, what do you Unnecessary. mean? Unnecessary. It depends on which word. Let's, let me take a look here. So, oh, I'm I a little bit distracted because I'm trying to. Teacher. Yes, I can. It sounds a little like an echo. Mm -hmm. Yes, my internet is is making me crazy. What does it mean, likewise? It's almost like a, for examples or the same idea. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can use it um, at, at the end of a sentence, for example, Oscar. You can say, "Hey, have a great weekend." Likewise. Mm. Okay. Or you can use it as a sentence, right? Um, El Salvador is trying to develop the economic model. Likewise, Honduras is also doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it, it only depends how, how formal you want to be or how much. But the important is first that you understand the, the concepts of when we can use them, like for similarities or differences or contrast in ideas, things like that. Okay. In which time? Mm -hmm, exactly. You can use them in all the times, present, past, future. Um, but the important is that you understand in, in exactly uh, when is the appropriate moment, moment to use it. Because the, uh, no. you can use them and it'll be correct grammatically. But maybe it's not correct what you want to say. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hello, teacher. Hey, Stephanie. How are you? I'm doing great, and you? Hi, Very teacher. Good too. Hey, Daniel. Uh, teacher, okay. we were talking with Daniel that what are we going to do because Daniel and I come, came late here. Um, okay, no problem. So the idea is that in in the WhatsApp group, um, we are. We, mm -hmm. I sent an image, um, also you can see it from 3.7 and the idea is connecting ideas. I'll share my screen with you to make sure that you understand. Okay, okay. connect ideas for informally. Right, informally. so the idea is that you, the two of you wanna discuss what are those words that are there, what do they mean? That's the most important first part, mm. okay? So what's the meaning of those to words? Discuss what we think about the words right what words do you know okay. and exactly and, and what they mean and then from that they you're going to use them in a sentence mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay teacher okay okay yes. teacher okay uh, what what do you mm -hmm. mean likewise likewise mm -hmm. So likewise is similar to something. Something. Yes, yeah, it's, it's similar. Likewise or, or the same. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Likewise, okay. And never the, nevertheless. Nevertheless is it's like but, right? What? Yeah. It's like when you when you use but. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, similarly, um, and therefore? Mm, no, I don't know. Therefore, therefore. Is, is when you explain the reason for something. I have to, I need money, therefore I work. 
Therefore, I work. Mm -hmm. So, or the company has problems. Therefore, I have to go to work on Saturday. Okay, teacher. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Ah, yes, I can see. <laughs> okay. So send the picture. Throw it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm looking for, for the picture, but I have a lot of pictures in my... Ah, uh, here it is. When he, when he listens that an airplane is going, he runs. And he looks to it like, oh, my dream. But and what does, uh, what does being work? honest, we're talk mm, he has his own business. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So it's like he works and he does a lot of things. But it is about a transportation, like a, for companies. Ah, yeah, he, he moves uh, like in uh, microbuses para la empresa, ¿verdad? Transporte de personal. Yes, that's, that's why he... See, let's see where he is. As a result. Well, yeah. as a result of my life, I have, uh, have studied computer science and I am a technical. Mm, okay. Technician. A technician, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Mm, how can I say this example? As a result, I've been studying for several weeks. As a result, I have gotten a high grade. Good. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Yeah. And we are practice all of them now. Okay, great. Let's go back and see how the rest are doing. Okay, does anybody have any questions, any words that um, are not clear or they don't understand what they mean? Uh, teacher. Yeah? I have a question. And which is the difference between indeed and in fact? In fact is with proof. Indeed is definitely is like a yes. So are you gonna go to the movies? Indeed. Um, I, I bought, the, I bought uh, a new TV. In fact, I have the receipt here. Mm. No, not it's indeed. like to show uh, proof. Right. Mm -hmm. Or another way to say, mm, not exactly, but similar to, for example, or, or to demonstrate something. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else? Any words that are not clear? Okay, it seems that everybody has a, a, a pretty good idea. And we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that it's clear for everybody. We're gonna do the knowledge check 3.8. So um, we're gonna go to the next exercise and the next exercise is knowledge check 3.8. And it's just about choosing the word. You're gonna read the sentence and you're gonna choose which word is correct. Is it on the other hand? Is it furthermore? Is it indeed? Is it in fact? Which words are the appropriate words in order to compete, complete 3.8? Okay.
You okay, Oscar? At the beginning of the class, I was trying to connect with my phone, with my computer. I, didn't... I, I was talking with Ernesto in the last group and I was talking alone because I get out of the class. Yeah. <laughs> but I was very excited talking. <laughs> I don't know if you, if you already did exercise but maybe but maybe after because i have problems with that 2.12 but let's try 3.8 right now because the teacher is here hi teacher hi karen, <laughs> karen if you have problems why don't you ask in the whatsapp group i don't know teacher maybe i i was trying today before the class and, oh. and I said I'm going to be early in the class but I had a lot of problems with my internet okay okay well you practice 3.8 <laughs> and then later we're gonna practice we'll we'll answer some of the questions and see how we can help you okay okay thank you teacher <laughs> you're welcome okay number one was the last cell phone? I think for example. for example, okay, let's try for example. Then we have second. Many cities have wireless hotspot. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, nevertheless. Yes, nevertheless, all that's done. Okay. Third one say most students um, do. Excuse me, teacher, just one question. Yeah. In the sentence number two. What does hotspots mean? It's the wire is the wireless connection for internet. Um, instead of saying internet, I can say the hotspots. No, they're different. Internet can be with cable, without cable. It can be um, in your house, for example, in the office, in the call center. They have they have cable. They have internet. A hotspot is a place where it's open to the public, usually. Um, for example, in, in Cafetalon, mm -hmm. there's a hotspot. In La Gran Vía, yeah. there's a hotspot for free internet. These are the ideas of hotspots. Okay, so, I get it. Uh -huh. So Thank internet, you. you're welcome. So internet can be any of those, but hotspot can only be in the wireless form. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. You're welcome. Yes. Now, uh, interrupting frequently. Um, furthermore, or on the other hand, I, I'm not sure. What on do you the think? Other hand, on I the other think. hand, por otro lado. Uh, uh, what, do further, yeah, what do you for, think, Elias? I think it's furthermore. I think same too. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Okay, let me see. Submit, yes, 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 furthermore. Yes. You got okay. 20 out of 20? 25, yeah. I mean? That's 25. 25, 25, yes, yes. Yes, it's, we're done. <laughs> it's the first time I get 25 from 25. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you see, it's good to work in a team. Yes, and the first uh, attempt, I don't know if that's correct. <laughs> first, in, yes, 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 that's fine. First okay. intent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Done. Great. Do you guys have any questions? Are there any that are uh, are not clear or you don't understand why? I don't think so. Not at this moment. Okay. Daniel, Elias, for you guys, everything is okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, everything is okay. Okay. Perfect. All right. Let's go back. We're making sure everybody's clear. Okay. Good. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. Bye, see you there. Okay. All right, I think we have Almost everybody, we're just missing one more group, I think. Three, four, five. 
or just one person? Okay. So, are there before we continue? Are there any other questions? Any any words that are, are not clear? What is the meaning of likewise, teacher? Likewise means similar to. So when uh, when something is com when you're comparing something, and that uh, product A is similar to product uh, B, this is likewise. Mm -hmm. It's uh, almost like saying also. Mm. Or in addition, no. Yes. Uh, well, not exactly a, a, in addition, because it's not an extra, but is um, the meaning would be similar to that. Okay. So let's say um, you use it many times. I don't know. Um, okay. So for example, uh, uh, El Salvador celebrates Christmas um, in, in a, uh, with fireworks. Likewise, uh, Central America uh, celebrates in the same way. So Central America celebrates in the similar way to El Salvador. Okay. Okay. So, uh, I don't know. Uh, Carolina has to work late uh, at the office. Likewise, I have to stay also to finish the report. How do you know that, teacher? Uh, because the two of us always work. <laughs> this is the life. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Uh huh. So, likewise, is it doesn't have to be. Um, it is not repeat the same thing. It's similar the same things. So you don't you don't go to a bar. You don't say, "Hey, give me a beer." Likewise, give me a beer. Okay. So it's it's not like repeat. It's it's not used in this kind of form. You can use it uh, with one word. You don't have to use an entire sentence. You can use it to say also right? like. Uh, Leonidas says, hey, have a good night, uh, you know, enjoy or relax, enjoy your weekend. I say, hey, likewise, yes, have a good night, enjoy your weekend also. Oh. It's not that we are going to have the same weekend, but we are expressing that it's going to be similar, the two, I the two ideas, that we're both going to relax and enjoy the weekend. Oh. So you can use like, Daniel likes to drink a uh, whiskey. Oh, likewise, me too, right? This is, you don't have to say the me too, it's the same idea, likewise. That means I also like to drink whiskey. Mm -hmm. Okay, so okay, now, now what we wanna do is we're gonna practice using these words in a conversation, okay? so. The important is not making a sentence. The important is talking about a topic, okay? So the topic, so that we can use it is the holidays, the end of the year, okay? It can be at the end of the year at work, the holidays in your house, uh, what are the activities that need to be done? You are going to, your comments, and you're going to make a comment or you're gonna describe what happens in your workplace, at your home, and your partners are going to also uh, respond using some of the vocabulary or in your case you can also use some of the vocabulary that we're looking at so as an example what's something that's very common in the hall in the holidays okay well very common in the holidays is for example um, people like to put up Christmas trees okay right I think most of us most people like to put up the Christmas trees and decorations in their house right Teacher. Um, yes. How do you say luces navideñas? Lights. Like the ones you put in the in the around the house. The house. Right, right. They're called Christmas lights. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, people like to put up trees. Um, additionally, some families uh, decorate their house with lights. You see, and I'm just, we're using the words additionally, for example, okay. Um, but uh, on the other hand, my family and I, we don't decorate at all. We don't put any Christmas trees. We don't put any light. We don't put anything for the last two years. 
and we know why. Yeah, uh -huh. I, I got angry with my wife, and I told her, <laughs> I told her if I said if you throw out the tr the Christmas tree and you you throw out the lights, I'm not going to buy another one. And she threw out the Christmas tree and the lights. She said, No, I want I want new Christmas tree. I said, No, 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 it's not necessary. This tree is good. The tree is good. It's not necessary to buy a new tree. And she says, I'm going to throw it out. Okay. I don't buy any, I don't buy any more trees. Wow. Good yeah. <laughs> well, now I know what to what to give give you for this. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> but but now this is the second year. The first year they thought it was a joke. This is the second year, so the next one is going to be the third year, and they're going to. And now my wife was. Mm, it would be nice to have a Christmas tree. I said, yeah, it would be nice to have my Christmas tree, the one that you threw away. <laughs> <laughs> what are your kids? You have kids? Yeah, and I tell them, hey, dad, what happened Don't to Don't be you? mean, teacher. No, no, I, I'm not. I tell them. I say, hey, they say, what happened? Dad, can we put a Christmas tree? I said, yeah, ask your mom. She threw it out. I had a Christmas tree. This big, beautiful, with lights and balls. And it was nice. And your mom threw it away. I don't know. Ask your mom. And that's it. And the conversation ends with me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, teacher. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. not Christmas spirit. No, no, no. It's very Christmas spirit. I'm waiting for her to decide. Hey, you know what? I made a mistake. I need to. I need to buy a Christmas tree. That's. And then I can buy the decorations. And I say, okay, I forgive you. Here, let's go buy the decorations. But no, no, no. <laughs> I think you're waiting for Santa Claus to give it to you, right? No, no, no. I'm okay without the tree. It's not a big <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. In fact, you know, it's funny, but where I live, here, nobody puts any Christmas lights. There, are, If I open my door in, in, in my street, there are no Christmas lights. There are no... Uh, no trees that they, because you can normally see from inside the house the lights inside the house or thing nothing here i don't know maybe everybody is jewish i don't know or, or muslim i don't know <laughs> maybe <laughs> maybe they're muslim because they don't celebrate or grinches teacher or grinches or grinches yeah but me no before i used to have uh -huh. i used to have everything for christmas you know the little boots that they have i had the little oh, boots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had the boots with each of our names. I had my my daughter's name, my son's name, my wife's name, my name. I, I would give up, I would put a present in for St. Nicholas. I would do this, but I say, no, 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 no. This is, this is, is, is you, you cannot, just because you want something better does not mean that you throw away something that is good. And that's yeah. why, and that's why I say no. That it works. Exactly. No, not only that it works, it's, it's fine. It's, she didn't like a green Christmas tree. She wanted a white one. And her idea was, ah, if I throw it away. I have one. <laughs> uh -huh. And her idea was, if I throw it away, he has to buy another one. And my idea is, no, this is not the correct way to act. Is she listening to you right now? <laughs> oh, she, yeah, maybe, maybe she is, but she, she, she knows, she knows. Uh -huh. That's why when, whenever the family asks or something, I always say, hey, ask her. When, when when her sisters and say, hey, you, what happened to the Christmas tree? Mm, ask her. But I think is this social pressure mm, maybe change her opinion that hey, maybe just because it's old is not a good idea to throw away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Teacher, so, yeah. How do you say reunir? Reunir, like, like gather. Morning. Like gather. Uh, how do you spell that? I'll put it in the chat. Thank you. Sure. Gather. Okay. Sorry, I have my uh, microphone now. It's okay, Carol, no problem. Okay, but gather is a correct <laughs> word, or I mean, it's not a slang? No, like, no, no. Uh, Abula, you know? No, 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 you have to gather. You have to gather money, or, or you have to, depends how you're going to use it, but it, you have to gather, or collect, or or, uh, or save up. 
So a gather can be used for um, for, what? for persons uh, for a for a terremoto for a hurricane. You, you, no, that's a that's a collect, right? That's yeah. That would be more of a collect, um, but you can use gather in some situations. It, it's similar. The, the, yeah, the idea is to to get together. So, the, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So many times the difference <laughs> is that um, you. Oh, okay, okay. I I I, I have a, a better way for you to understand. Uh, do you guys know what is? Uh, I think I think the name is Cuchuval. Yes. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay, so in Cuchuval, you gather the money because everybody puts together, and then okay. they go for one for each person receives one month, right? But this is not collect the money because it's not like a donation, it's not a, uh, a contribution, it's not a, a gift. It's you are putting together to do one thing, you gather. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is Think about it like for food, okay? So if I want to make, I don't know, if I okay. want to make a turkey, a turkey dinner for Christmas, I, okay. with the family, we need to gather the ingredients. Okay. No, no, we need to collect. We need to put together. One person put the turkey, one person put, I don't know, the pie, one person put the salad, the rice. This is the idea of gather, that everybody contributes to, usually you contribute to one cause or for one purpose. Okay, you got it. Like mm -hmm. uh, like an agape or like a cabuda. That's, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. That's right. Uh -huh. Something like okay. that. That's right. Everybody. That's yeah, Ernesto. And if I say, for example, I am playing with my with my partners, and I told I tell them to gather it around. It is correct. That's right, because everybody goes for one area. That's that's the idea. Everybody collects, or everybody comes to one area. And it's a synonym for get around. No, no, no. no. Uh, um, it. it it's a little bit different, but um, it's more like um, get along. Maybe um, not get around, but maybe um, come around. Depends the exp depends how you're going to use it. But yeah, I guess sometimes sometimes it could be get around, but usually it get around is different. Get around is that you travel. So, for example, if I say Karen gets around. Um, uh, gets around uh, the country. So that means Karen goes from here to San Miguel, to Santa Ana, to Aguachapan. This is the get around most of the time you use. Um, many times get around is used more sexually that you have many partners. So Leonidas gets around. So he has maybe five, six girlfriends. Come on, Leonidas. I know, right? <laughs> it's not I, true. <laughs> I, thought you, I thought you were a nice guy, Leonidas. I thought you were nice, but no, no, no. I am. I am a nice guy. <laughs> now with this you color. look like. <laughs> You look like, you look like, but you're not. Uh -huh. what, about the, what about the verb meet? If I say we can meet in... I example. will ask it. I will That's ask correct, the same and meet. That's correct, Elias. That would be the most appropriate word. We, we meet. Okay. Uh -huh. Meet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think what, what, what he was saying for, for uh, get around is, is um, maybe a little bit more complicated. So we, normally... Um, it's not around maybe the confusion was with around because like with a family for christmas you get together not get around maybe that's that's the one that you were thinking of that you come together so it's you get together or your friends for a game football or for i don't know a barbecue a lunch this is always you use the term get together Oh, like let, let's get together at the mall or let's yeah, together. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's how you, uh, that's how you use it exactly. Let's get together. So similar to what they say, let's meet. So in this way is probably maybe it's the one that you were thinking of when you when you were thinking of get. And hang out, teacher. Yeah, but hang out is a little bit is similar to get together. Um, it just it it's used um, like an informal way, and get together is used more of a social way. So like okay. usually like, I don't know, maybe teens uh, or people hang out. They hang out at, you know, at the park. There is not, they, and usually adults get together um, at, at, the at, street, a, maybe. At, at the restaurant. Yeah, or, or, or exactly, Ernesto. The kids hang out in, in Salvador de Mundo. There, there is nothing to do together. 
but as an adult, you're not going to get together at Salvador del Mundo. You're going to get together at Starbucks. You're going to get together at, I don't know, a, a, a restaurant, uh, you know, at Benigan, something, or Pizza Hut. This is the get together. Mm. And hang out is just like, usually, let's hang out at the stadium or let's hang out at the gym. This is like, so hang out is usually to do an activity together. So it's usually an action and get together is usually to be in the same or be together. Mm -hmm. mm. Informal, informal teaching. Most of the time, more, most of the time is, is, is hangout is just, um, is, is more for the age group, I would say, more than anything. It's usually that, that people that are younger um, are usually like the teenagers, usually are the ones who hang out. So we don't have to use it. No, we you can getting... use it. No, no, you can use it, but just so you understand that usually it's because, for example, Carol, are you going to hang out? Are you going to go, you know, do something with somebody or are you going to go and talk? Mm. right because if you hang out hey let's hang out at the beach mm. are you gonna go you know surfing are you gonna go play volleyball are you gonna go or are you gonna be you know under the tree with the shade waiting for the margaritas to come to the table okay <laughs> that yeah so it's that's why i say it, it's similar but in, and they have similar meanings but usually when the people say hang out it's because they're gonna do an activity and get together is like a like kind of like a meeting like a reunion Okay, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. So that's the similar idea. We're going to form our groups. You're going to talk about something and try to use them part of your conversation. And additionally, furthermore, you know, uh, on the other hand, or, you know, for instance, whatever. Okay. So if my partner says, okay, um, you know, uh, oh, or, or I told you about my wife, okay, about her throwing out the tree. So as a result, now we don't have a Christmas tree. And that's it. It's part of the conversation. Just try to make a conscious decision of using the vocabulary. It takes a moment, but try to make a conscious decision of using it. Okay, let's make our groups then. I think we... We lost somebody. Okay. Hi. Good evening. Hey, you. Good evening, Sandra. I'm doing great. Who starts? How are you feeling today? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing. I'm feeling better. Thanks for asking. I'm. I'm today. I have a visit at the doctor. And good to hear that. Yeah, he said that I'm getting like eighty percent better. So one more visit in one month. That's nice. Yeah. So. As a result, I need to continue resting. <laughs> yes. As a result of my surgery, I need to continue resting. I think it's, it's, it's a good one. Yes, you need to continue resting, but not too much. I mean, um, you also need to walk. To exercise. Yes, yes, keep moving. Yeah, he yes, tells me, he tells me that. Like a therapy. For example, I go to the... One block from my house, there's a gas. There's a gas station, and in, the, in that gas station, there's a, a drugstore, the Farmacia Economica. So I go there to buy some some, some medicine, for ah. example. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, also, also. Hey, we're in classes, man. We're in classes. <laughs> um, so similarly, uh, like prisoner. In the culture, we know that the girls um, have the same power in this um, in this couple years. But you know, as as other 
other years we could say that the women and the females are no equals to the men's so that's why we say first ladies no. no. Don't, don't worry, we, we don't believe in that. Let's talk about the holidays. Okay, let's talk about the holidays. Okay. In the you know what? In the office. I, I really enjoy, but really enjoy decorating my Christmas tree. But in the other hand, my kids uh, doesn't like it. <laughs> they okay. are like a little Grinch. <laughs> <laughs> like the teacher. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, like, like, the like the teacher. <laughs> For example. For like example. I like, example. I like the, <laughs> the decorations, but I don't like like to be doing or putting the decoration or Christmas things or lights or the tree. I like to see in the house. <laughs> Are you single, Leonidas? <laughs> yes, I am. Ah, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> that's why, because okay. it's like, I think we change in mind after we get married. That's true. It's like having your own house, like, having the things that you want, not what your parents give you. So it's, it changes a lot. Yeah. And then kids come and they change it too. <laughs> because we used to have a green Christmas tree. Now I have a white Christmas tree because of my daughter. Because I, I accept that we can change Christmas trees. We can. Even if they are good, you know. If they are green, we can change it to white. Why not? Okay. In fact, I prefer the the white Christmas tree. Me too. <laughs> really, teacher. And yeah. what color? And what color was yours? The one that your wife threw away? A green one. <laughs> A green one. But because it was my wife. But when I was single, I used to decorate all of my house, and my Christmas tree was white with red lights. And I used to have candy canes, little candy, mm. but uh -huh. with colors on the tree. And I would have the decorations of silver around the house. So when I turn on the lights, the tree would be red because I only use red lights, red lights with the white tree. And then all of the walls would have the silver. So it shines very, very beautifully. Ah, but, in a, time. but in El Salvador, I learned that the red is for, you know, for other types of business. So no more red. Like what? Mm -hmm. For like right. lips, like business, like lips. Oh. Because I didn't have because I only had red. So so in so it look when you look outside it look only red. So I, I but in in the other countries it doesn't mean that. But here I learned that the red was bad. So my wife said no 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 it's not good only red it's not good only red. Ah. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I didn't know. That. I I will tell you that teacher that you are telling things to the little boy learning learning yes. right now. He's the young boy like the little one. Mm -hmm. Leonidas is an expert. He has a book. Mm. <laughs> I done. Uh -huh. Teacher, but when you when you live in the U.S., mm -hmm. uh, did you buy a real Christmas tree? Uh, some years, some years we did. Yes. But you don't really enjoy that the smell of this tree. Yeah, you really ah. do. Really yeah. do. It's it's expensive, but really it's. It's a smell that is, I don't know, you can't describe it because it's, it's like nature. It's fresh. Uh -huh. It's nature in your it's house. It's fresh. It's fresh and nature. Mm -hmm. and, and the tree lasts all, all like all Christmas. All you, yeah, because sometimes you have like flowers. You think of like flowers when you buy roses or something like this. And the flowers die in a week or the flowers die in a few days, right? But mm -hmm. with the tree, we would have from December, from the beginning of December, or no, from, I, I lie, because we would already have the Christmas tree for uh, Thanksgiving. So from Thanksgiving, we would have from November all the way to after, to Dia de los Reyes. And then during this time, it, it's almost like a month and a half. 
Uh -huh. So, so we, smelling we, it, teacher, is like you feel the Christmas spirit around you. It's like the smell when, when uh, the pino? The pine? The pine. It, it is, I don't know. It's really beautiful. Have you, have you, ever, have you ever cooked with um, Romero, Carolina? Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then you understand because when you move, oh. when you move Romero, it creates a smell. So when you move the tree, the pine tree, it creates the smell. And you're like, ah, it's like the holidays. I use it for Christmas food, the one that I cook. So it's like, but I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's why it creates that smell. So yeah, you, I, well, here probably that we learned that um, they give you a little, they give you like a, a little cup to put the, the tree in with the water to, because the tree, if, if you cut the same day, you go, I don't know, like tilapia is you go, mm. you select the tree and in the moment they cut, it's not that they have for many days. You go to a farm and they, and you select the tree that you want and then that's why it's fresh. So because it's fresh, the bottom is not closed. And if you put in water immediately, the, the tree continue, uh, you just have to keep putting water and water in and the tree continues without closing for, for a long time. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, Very yeah. Mm -hmm. It helps a lot. So. Okay. Uh, that's one of the things, on the other hand, that's one of the things that that you don't want to be with because to, you are in the cold weather there. Where do you used to live? Uh, in Wisconsin and also in New York. So I oh lived in- Oh my God, New York is too cold. Mm -hmm. Very, very cold. <laughs> in the other hand, we have, for example, like California is a little bit cold, but not too much. And they just have like the rain, just that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the weather from here. Pretty much, like in some parts, they're they're like here because they they only get rain and, and cold weather, not snow. That's true. Yeah. Um, and do you enjoy? Uh, ¿Cómo se dice quemar pólvora? Uh, to light fire, fire, light fireworks. Light fireworks. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, what is the word that you put before uh, fireworks? Light. light, light, like the like the 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 light, light mm -hmm. fireworks. Mm. For example, I also like to light. Yes. Mm -hmm. To light fireworks. Mm -hmm. I don't like. You don't. No, I'm afraid. I I used I, to I'm like, scared. But now I don't need to. What happened? I had a I had a very, very terrible accident. Oh really? And it re yes, and it reminds me my dad telling to everybody the Christmas night. So no the Eve Christmas. I don't know how to say El 24. That's not Christmas, right? That's the twenty the twenty fifth. Christmas, like Christmas Eve? Is Christmas Eve, yes. I said Eve Christmas, but it's Christmas Eve. So my dad was dealing to all of us. Um, my brothers were throwing silvadores, I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. and, and, and they fired the house of the neighbor. Oh my God. Really? A big part, yes, a big part. Because they have hay for... Horses, that's the word, right? Hay. Yeah, hay, hay for uh -huh, horses. Uh -huh. Hay, hay, mm-hmm. So they throw it to the part where the hay was, and it started getting on fire. But it wasn't one of my brother. It was one of the sons of my neighbors, the owner of the house. So my dad started yelling to us because he thought that was one of my brothers. But the next day we knew that it was not my brother, it was the son of the neighbors. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't, since that moment, it makes me always remember that, that part that we have, that we were um, helping to, uh, 
apagar el fuego. I don't know how to say it. Put out. Put them away. Yes. So <laughs> it was a very stressful night. So uh, when I always listen to Silvadores, I am always scared. And I, I don't like them. Yeah, I scare, I scare Silvadores too, but I I really enjoy see, uh, watching the, the different kind of light from El Dragón or El Sol. Oh, yeah. It's really beautiful. That's true. I mm -hmm. love them. I but love. Silvadores, I, I hate them. Silvadores. <laughs> Y ven morteros, <laughs> metralletas, en los metralletas, I don't, the big, I don't the like. big ones. <laughs> Or morteros, I hate them. Uh -uh. No, I don't like them. I like to see the lights, but firework lights, but not that much. Okay. I prefer food. <laughs> <laughs> uh -uh. Me too. Nice. Well, in my case, I prefer... Um, food and it could be a drink too i love the ah, drink. Yes. so additionally we celebrate this this tradition that is not used to you know okay guys great usage i saw many Many people practicing and being fluent and talking and laughing. And that's the idea. That's the purpose of English. It's not a class. The idea is to feel comfortable with the language. You want to feel normal with the language. So that's the idea. We're going to pause right there. And tomorrow we're going to continue using and talking about the next topics, okay, which are tag questions. Okay. Perfect. All right, guys. All right. Have a okay. great night. Thank you. Good questions. Good night. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night.